The BBC are hiding something from us in plain sight, and I think it's time that we talk about it. Ah, 1992. What a lovely place the world was back then. No having to stare at your phone all day, and endless nights watching TV with your family. I was still in primary school back then, and I had more hair. 1992 also saw the launch of many people's favourite TV channel, UK Gold, or Gold, as it was known back then. On the 1st of November 1992, the channel was launched. Why am I talking about UK Gold today? Well, if you stick with me, it does relate strongly to the BBC licence fee. So anyway, in my parents' house, UK Gold was a mainstay. It was constantly on the telly. The only time it wasn't really was when Arsenal was playing because my dad was always in charge of the remote. Otherwise, we were sat there as a family watching endless episodes of Only Fools and Horses and Faulty Towers and even the failed attempt they did to revive El Dorado. UK Gold was the reason many people wanted to get a Sky subscription so that they could receive this great channel and watch all the classic shows from BBC and Thames. Tom's big break is none other than the Lollipop Man. Gimme, gimme, gimme in 40 minutes' time. Right now, though, plenty of surprises in tonight's Ab Fab, including model behaviour from Naomi Campbell. Not many people know the truth behind this network, a network of channels that now includes many others like Dave and Yesterday. Most of the channels are available for you to watch free of charge on Freeview, but some of the channels in this network do hide behind a paywall, like on Sky or Virgin TV. But all of the channels do show adverts before, during and after their shows, even on the classic TV shows. There's loads of adverts. The UK TV group was formed as a joint venture between the BBC and Thames, and that sort of makes sense because most of the shows on there were classic BBC shows. Did you know that the BBC were founders of this network? I didn't, and most people don't. But why does that matter? Well, that's what this video is about. Over the years, the ownership of the UK TV network changed a few times, mostly because Thames got sold a lot. But one thing didn't change, and that's that the BBC always held on to its 50% share. In 2011, Virgin Media held the other 50% share, but they sold out to a company called Scripps Network Interactive. Over the years, the network continued to grow and grow in popularity and viewership. And this meant that in 2017, they broke all their previous records for market share and viewers. OK, I can feel you tiring a bit of my history of the UK TV network, so let's cut to it a bit quicker. In 2018, Discovery bought out Scripps 50% stake in the company, and things started to change a little bit at UK TV. Discovery decided to split from the network, and they took their channels home, good food, and really, and put them behind the Sky paywall. But that left the other channels like Gold and Dave, still on Freeview, but with only one owner now, the BBC. The BBC now owned 100% of the UK TV network. But why does that matter that the BBC own 100% of another TV network? Well, I think it matters a lot, and I'm going to tell you why. The licence fee forced on the poor people of this country was used to create shows like Only Fools and Horses and Top Gear, and because of that, you got to watch them free of charge with no advertising on your BBC channels at home. So does it not bother you now that the BBC are using the same shows that you paid for, putting them on the UK TV networks, and they're showing adverts before, during, and after, with the revenue of those advertisements going straight in to the BBC bank accounts? Or how much are they making from all this advertising? Well, it's actually quite easy to find out. If you pop across the company's house, you can actually look at the publicly filed accounts for this company. And the interesting thing on here is if you look at the people listed as directors and secretaries of the company, many of them are using the BBC's main headquarters address. This is fully out there and fully in the public. They're not trying to hide it. So here on the screen now are what I could find as the last filed accounts for the company. So you can see the profit they're making from advertising. Now, from what I read here, you need to add three zeros to the end number. Uh, I'm not really an expert in looking at this sort of paperwork, so I am ready to be corrected on that in the comments section if I'm wrong. But I believe you have to add three zeros. So these numbers are pretty big numbers, and they're making good money from these channels. 
So what I'll do is I'll put a link in the description below to these documents so you can take a look for yourself and you can see the crazy numbers that they're generating. Now I don't care if the BBC want to farm out all their old TV shows that we have long since paid for many times over and use that to make a profit. In fact, good for them. But the problem is, this is a group of TV channels publicly, openly, 100% owned by the BBC who say they don't want to be commercial. They rely on people like me, well, not me, obviously, and hopefully not you, to pay a licence fee to keep them in business. Yet, they have another business that is commercial and is generating profit. So where's the argument still for the TV licence? They're capable of showing adverts. Just do that. You know, you can't have it both ways, BBC. You can't have the normal people of this country pay you a licence free every year to keep you in business and have other TV channels that show adverts that generate profit from the adverts. You can't have it both ways. So you either scrap the licence fee or you get those adverts off the UK TV channels immediately and let us watch them advert free. Also, just for fun, I checked out who supplies the advertising to the UK TV networks. They use an agency to bring in advertisers. Who do you think it is? Well, imagine my surprise. Channel 4 manages all the adverts for the UK TV group. Uh, if you are interested in stopping paying for your TV license, head over to my website, www.tvlicensestop.co.uk. All the information you need is on there. It's all simple and easy. Won't cause you any trouble or any dramas. Also check out the other videos on my channel where you can learn what you can watch without a TV license, which is quite a lot. You're not going to miss much. And you might find some answers to some of your other questions there. Thanks for watching.